I've got something very special to talk to you about today, so stay tuned. Hello everybody and welcome back to another week. I'm Tasha with the City Engine team here in Zurich, Switzerland, and this is episode number nine. I'm also presenting another awesome award, so remember if you want to participate then add the hashtags City Engine or City Engine Art to your posts on social media. As you may have realized by now, the City Engine development team is based here in Zurich, but did you know that other Esri products are also developed here? We have a whole team here in Zurich working on the scene viewer and the 3D part of the ArcGIS API for JavaScript. This week, a new version of ArcGIS Online went live and I'd like to show you two of the 3D highlights. Firstly, we're so excited to finally be able to announce the measurement tool in the scene viewer and the JavaScript API. This has been a heavily requested feature for a while now and we can't wait to hear your feedback on it. So, similarly as you can do in City Engine, you can now measure 3D distances in the web. In the scene viewer, we even have different modes, like the geodesic mode, which lets the user measure points from across the globe. This mode also works in the sky or even in space. Then another highlight. We made a lot of performance improvements in the browser. Check out the top left. This was our old loading speed. And on the top right, you can see the new loading speed. And in the bottom row, you can see the behavior when you visited this location before and the data was cached. We now also have progressive loading for integrated mesh layers, which means that the lower LODs are loaded first and then the rest follows. All of these improvements really help to make the user experience on our Web3D platform much more enjoyable. Today's awesome award goes to our friend Elliot Hartley from Garsdale Design, who's been coming up with some really great City Engine Craftsman style rules. So thanks for joining me for this special Web3D episode this week, and we hope you like it, and if you have any comments or questions, make sure you post them below.